Hi everyone, it's Vicky here. Today designing for Hip Kit Club and I'm using the May 2019 kits. Um, my assignment for today is to use the main kit only and to incorporate patchwork and sewing. So um, this gorgeous paper from Paige Evans Horizon Collection is just screaming out to be patchworked. <laughs> That's even a word. And so what I decided to do was cut out every square from the paper and I'm just going to cut through that because you don't need to see me do that but um, I don't use every square but I just cut them all up and then I'm just deciding which colours to use so I'm going for a rainbow theme so I'm just going from sort of purpley through to blue so just cutting an orange there so I've got one square of each colour and in a moment I'm going to cut each square then into four so um, I'm just going to begin to do that again you're not going to have to watch me do all of those. I'm going to cut this through so that you see it done. There we go. So you've got the idea. So I cut each square into four more squares. And I'm going to use a white background. And I'm just going to arrange these over the page. Um, this isn't how it's going to look. But I'm just sort of popping them on there to see how much room I'm going to take up with this. I'm just sort of interspersing some colours into different rows, but sort of still keeping the rainbow theme. And I quite like that, but I don't want to just leave it square. I want to have a bit of interest there. So I move some of these little squares around. And you'll see in a second that, um, that they all sort of... There we go. So they move around a bit, and that's pretty much how it's going to look. So. I realise this isn't quite central, so I'm just going to move them all around a little bit just to make them a little bit more central to the page. And then I'm going to start sticking them down. No, actually, first of all, I tell a lie, I'm going to distress them. So I'm distressing the edge, all four edges of each little square. So that's going to take a while, so I skip through that as well so you don't have to watch it. Um, and once that's done, then I'm going to stick them down. I'm certain of it this time. <laughs> Here we go. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of each because um, in a bit I'm going to sew through some of them. So, okay, here we go. Do I skip through this? I'm not certain. I don't think I do, actually. I'm afraid you have to watch me stick all of these down. But um, yeah, so I just stick them in the centre. So um, I wasn't sure at this point how many I was going to sew through and, um, you know, whether they would definitely be in the right position. So just a little bit of glue. But actually, it all works out and I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so then off camera, I do some stitching. So you can see here, I just stitch through every other column with corresponding colour thread. Um, and I just did sort of, you know, two down, one up, it zigzag of three across them. So, um, yeah, so this is the photo I'm going to use. And it's got lots of different colours in. And that's why I thought this would work quite well with the rainbow theme. It's just of me and my husband. Um, we were on holiday and we were dressed up for a fancy dress party. And uh, I thought it was quite a cool photo. This is quite a few years ago, actually. And I just wondered whether I should perhaps go permanently blonde, but I decided against it. <laughs> I think a wig will be fine. So here I'm just putting together these fabric, fabulous exclusive fabric hearts. Sorry, not hearts, bows. Um, and I put a pink, a blue and a yellow one um, just to match in with the rainbow theme. They're really, really cute and you just build them yourself. I love them. Um, so I'm just going to back the photo here with some pattern paper and also some vellum. Just to add a bit of depth there. And the next thing I'm going to do is just start to load up some embellishments and, and sort of do tone on tone, kind of, not completely, but pretty much tone on tone, and just put some of these embellishments around the page. So um, I like the little, the title's going to be there, um, it's going to go on in a bit. So Out Chasing Rainbows isn't the title, but I like how it fits there. Um, so I'm just picking up the embellishments tone on tone and sticking them around the page. And um, 
yeah, moving them about a bit and then I'll start to stick them down. So I like the rainbow there next to Out Chasing Rainbows. And this is my title here, Here Comes the Fun. So that's from the puffy stickers. And uh, that goes quite well there on the pink, I thought. So I'm just sticking things down. I'm putting some things on foam dots. Some things will be going flat. Um, yeah, tone on tone still. Foam dot there on that hello. And I'm going to foam the photo as well. Just stick all of that down and the leaf there and, so, and the bows just put something on top to keep it stuck <laughs> so I'm putting some foam behind out chasing rainbows and some foam behind the other side of the rainbow as well just to give that some dimension okay and I think we're nearly there I'm just putting a couple of extra flowers on from the exclusive die cuts and sticking those down and then I'll stick down the title because um, I just things fall off and I just don't want it to fall off and that's it I think that's the final layout I hope you like it I hope it gives you some inspiration for using just the main kit there are some close-ups coming up and um, if you have any questions please let me know but I'd love if you could hit like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time this has been Vicky for Hit Kit Club Thanks. Bye-bye.